Hello and welcome back to Pippi on the Script. Coach, it's finals week, Thanksgiving. Oh, and you have Clemson on Saturday at 3.30. That was just announced. How are you guys preparing for this great Clemson Tiger team? Um, it'll be a normal week, you know, just like we prepared for Austin P. Um, you know, we'll get three days of practice in. Our last day will be perfect Thursday, which is also Thanksgiving Day. Um, you know, our kids will have an opportunity to uh, hopefully not go eat Thanksgiving anywhere but their apartment. We'll give them a nice Thanksgiving meal to go uh, here on Thursday. And, uh, you know, we just got to be safe, as you know. You've had some big clashes with Clemson. Last time, one of the last times you saw them was 2018 ACC Championship, also a game in 2016. I'm sure most of the players don't even remember that. That was a long time ago. But how, what are the keys to beating this Clemson team? You know, the keys are, you know, for us to go down there focused with a lot of energy and, uh, and execute the game plan. Um, from there, it's, you know, it's in, in our, our kids' hands and God's hands to, to make sure that, uh, you know, our guys you know, do what they need to do. But, uh, you know, it's a great football team. But we're a great football team. If we go down and execute, anything can happen. This team is loaded with offensive talent. You have Trevor Lawrence, hasn't played in a little bit. Travis Etienne, who you've seen a lot of. And of course, Amari Rogers, just to name a few. This is a team that really spreads it out. So they're not one dimensional. They average about 44 points. What are you looking to see from them on offense and how will you stop them? I'm looking to see nothing out of them. That's what I'd like to see, absolutely nothing. But uh, you know, it's uh, we're gonna have to score points on offense. They're gonna score, we know that. Uh, we gotta score more uh, to win that football game. Trevor Lawrence is excellent. Uh, he, he can throw it. He's got a cannon arm. Uh, he's very, very accurate. And, uh, and you know, ETM in the backfield is, uh, is a scary deal because he can uh, catch it out of the backfield as easy as he can, you know, take it 80 for a touchdown. Coach, Thanksgiving week, Thanksgiving day. I know the players can't go anywhere, but will you have a special meal for them? You guys always have something great in the cafeteria lined up yeah, for these guys. They have, they have something special every day uh, with <laughs> Kevin do. Blinn and our chefs. Um, but uh, they'll have a special Thanksgiving meal here. I'm sure they're gonna find one somewhere else. I just hope they have their masks on. And what is, I have to ask the most important question of the day, your favorite Thanksgiving dish or side that you look forward to, even if it's over game film and you're stuck in the office, what is it and what are you looking forward to? Casey, it's hard for me to answer the food question because I love food. I love all Told food. That's why, I, that's why I love Pittsburgh, you know, <laughs> because of all the you know, variety of food we have in the city. Um, but, you know, my wife doesn't make a bad meal. She doesn't make a bad uh, plate. Uh, but we're going to have this. We're going to have, I mean, I love it all. Uh, I might be the only one at the table. My kids are looking at the, the cranberry, and they're not eating the cranberry. It's all they, yours. You know, um, matter of fact, my dad used to call it alligator tongue when we were little. It's like, hey, have a piece of alligator tongue. You know, out of the can that's sliced up. Oh, yeah. He would call it alligator tongue. And as kids, we were kind of scared of it. And we started eating alligator. So we thought it was alligator tongue. But I love it all. When did you realize it wasn't? Um, when I was 19. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't remember how old I was. But, uh, you know, um, I, love, I love it all. We'll have a little Italian dish, whether it be manicotti or, or some lasagna as well. That's nice. You change it up. Well, I hope you enjoy some of that alligator tongue. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Casey. Thank you. thank you. And happy Thanksgiving to all our viewers out there. And thank you for watching this edition of Pitt Beyond the Script. Hey, hey what? Now 16 people all stacked against us. We knew we were going to do it. That's all. They knew. We knew.